Well, PK, congratulations on a derby win. Uh, what are your immediate reflections on tonight's game? Yeah, look, I think it was you know, two teams, you know, going to battle. Um, you know, uh, I think first half you, you could see the, the, the level of both teams. Um, I think we, I think we were very good in what we did. Second half, I think you know, there's some areas that we need to improve on. Um, but we still created the chances, you know. Um, but in the end of the day, the keeper made a couple of very good saves. Um, but I'm happy with the character shown by the players, you know. Again, derby games are a bit different. Sometimes your performance um, has to take a step back and, you know, obviously the fighting and the, the work rate, you know, takes over and that's what I'm happy with tonight. The first half, obviously two goals in two minutes helps, but... What what do you think went so right in in that first half? We had a new midfield look. You were playing Lecky in there. What do you think went well in that half? You accomplished. Well, I think if if you look at, it, I think you know. Um, I thought we controlled the play well. Again, this is with eleven men. Um, you know, uh, I, I thought we we managed um, to to really you know uh, you know work with them, work against them. You know, uh, the effort. Again, today was more of um, of a, a fight and you know um, grit and you know more than the, the performance. And but in, in saying that, I thought our performance was okay. You know, especially in the first half. Conversely, in the second half, you mentioned some areas you'd like. Yeah, to look, it, it would have been you know it would be nice to obviously get rewarded for you know some of the you know the great uh, play that we did. Um, I thought you know I want to control the game a bit more. Um, even though in certain areas we did, um, but I wanted to uh, control the game a bit more. But a again, you know, a, a derby game is a, a bit different um, when it comes to, you know, uh, your performance. And again, the character that we showed today, the fighting spirit was fantastic. How's Scott Jamison, that late withdrawal? Yeah, I think he's OK. Um, he's been seen by the medical and again, we'll get uh, a clear indication of, you know, where he is, you know, this week. Is it Injury in, during the week. Uh, I think I think he tweaked it, you know. So look, it, it happens, but you know, credit to Curtis when he came in, you know, he adapted really well. There was no sort of a change, um, and again, I was really happy with you know Curtis's uh, performance, but also the collective was very good. No, you say it'll get looked at, but you say he tweaked it. So you're not concerned it's anything major, jammer there. Uh, not at the moment, no. Um, unless I'm being told otherwise by the medical staff, but. You know, these things, yeah, you need to go, you know, day by day to have a look. I mean, it's a fair out in a derby with Jordan Boss on the left, um, up against Nani. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, look, you know, Jordan's been in our system for a long time now um, as a kid, and it, it's great to see him get the rewards um, through hard work, effort, dedication. And, you know, again, you know, even though he played against, you know, one of the world's best players at one stage, Nani, but... You know, I think you need to look beyond that and, and, and see, you know, um, can he keep doing it week in, week out? Consistency is the big thing. And, you know, I think sometimes we get carried away with a young boy that's had a couple of good games. Sometimes we need to just pop it down a bit and be a bit realistic and, um, you know, say he's done well. But I was very happy with him today, very. PK, obviously it's two big wins if Western United victory on your home deck to really start the season. What does this do for the group going forward to get wins against the champions and also against the side like victory early on? Uh, uh, it's a game. You know, yeah, you, you, you know, what else do I say? It, it's a game that you want to play your best football. Um, and, you know, um, tonight I, I thought, again, we were good in areas. OK, uh, Marco Tilio's gotten the start tonight. Obviously, he's been the talking point in previous games. He's gotten to through a full 90 minutes tonight. Firstly, what did you make of his performance? Yeah, really good at times. Um, you know, it'd be nice to see him get rewarded for, uh, you know, his creativity and that. But, look, I'm just happy that he's there, uh, you know, in those right times. And, you know, it's due to the collective in terms of, you know, putting the ball where he should be. And, you know, obviously, he's... He's got a uh, very good at dribbling and you can see that. Um, uh, but, you know, it's just, you know, you just want to keep improving him and trying to get better and that's what we focus on, trying to push him and, again, get consistency of him, you know, every day. You know, I won't stop pushing um, Marco just because he's played 90 minutes tonight. You know, I'll push him again tomorrow and the next day because you want to get these young players as best as they can. 
obviously, as I mentioned, he has been a talking point. You were asked about him last night in relation to the Socceroos. People are talking about him externally. I'm wondering, internally, inside the four walls, like, how are you avoiding that becoming a distraction? Do you have these conversations? Or it's, it's very easy, just don't listen. Mm-hmm. It's very simple. Whatever happens outside, uh, it's, football's about opinions. Oh, my job here is to worry about Melbourne City, the club, the playing group, um, and everyone a part of that. My job isn't um, you know, anything else besides that. And is that a spirit you've got the players buying into as well? Uh, it's a fact.